I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Stratabound Minerals Corp. has agreed to acquire all of the issued and outstanding shares of California Gold. Under this all-share acquisition, California Gold shareholders will receive one Stratabound share for each California Gold share with approximately 65.1 million shares being issued. This agreement is subject to the customary conditions, including regulatory and exchange approvals, along with a break fee payable to Stratabound should the transaction not proceed. California Gold Mining's flagship Fremont Gold Project located in Mariposa County, California, lies within California's prolific Mother Lode Gold Belt. The Mother Lode Gold Belt, one of the most prolific gold belts in the world, is estimated to have produced 50 million ounces of gold throughout history. Its famed mineral deposits have been attracting interest and investments to the region since the gold rush of the 1840s. The property's two historical underground gold mines, the Pine Tree and the Josephine, cover approximately one kilometer out of a total four kilometers of strike along the regional mother load shear zone, which extends across and beyond the property. In addition to coming with an initial NI43101 resource of 879,000 ounces, grading 1.6 grams per tonne gold based only on the Pine Tree Josephine Zone, the project has excellent exploration upside plus development potential at an attractive valuation. Kim Tyler, President and CEO of Stratabound, has joined us today to discuss this news. Welcome, Kim. Thank you, Cassandra, and thanks for being uh, for interviewing us today. Uh, talk a bit about our project. We're very excited about what's happened here. Um, we were, were involved in, uh, we've been looking, Stratamon's been looking for something in the Motherlode Belt of California for, for probably five years now. We're really an operating mining company, and we're operators, and we've gotten into exploration in the last few years because it's been convenient and a very exciting project, and Yukon has helped uh, catapult us along here. But this this property we found, and even we're working with California Gold to acquire, uh, terribly exciting. It, it's in the Motherlode Belt. It's, uh, it's the historic California Gold Rush, and I'm going to dispel some rumors about the myth of working in California. We again, we've been spending a lot of time on the ground in California, myself included, and very came close a couple of times already on, on two projects, and this one finally came through. But uh, the, the distinction here is that in, in California, particularly the northern part, it's its history, and in the founding of California is is the California Gold Rush. And there's still a strong, strong uh, feeling about that. When you're dealing with uh, permitting, which seems to be the issues, you'll find that in California, you're dealing with counties and they, they, they carry the big stick and the regulators come in behind them. And that's the, what we found. We follow in the footsteps of Equinox and Core, who are doing very well in California, a very rich mining district. And the second thing I want to point out that intrigues me about uh, the U.S., in particular the Western U.S., is that in 1943, 44, the War Measures Act came in after Pearl Harbor and all these mines shut down were very, very uh, rich. And at that time they were running around $30 an ounce. So they, a lot of them never started again. And the US is not uh, strong as mining and resources Canada is. So we look at these opportunities and the technologies changed where you would be mining in the old days, narrow vein, old uh, pick and axe type of stuff. Nowadays, we're using remote mining equipment and you can get into these old workings and places and, and really make some money in there. So, so we've looked at that. We looked at the, we've been looking at over a year now at, uh, at the Fremont project and a little history there. John C. Fremont was uh, owned that property. It's named after him. And he picked up that property in California. It was still owned by uh, this, by Spain, Mexico. So, uh, so again, we're looking at the uh, with fresh eyes on an old property, and we really think it's terrific. We're, we're picking up 880,000 ounces, and the measured, uh, sorry, the indicated plus inferred, about 500,000 of those is in the indicated stage. And it, although it's uh, touted there for the time being as, a, as an open pit and low grade, we see it was operating at uh, nearly a quarter of an ounce back in its day and produced about 126,000 ounces back in the day. So, so we see there's an opportunity for high grade as well as low grade, and there's there's oxidized gold near the surface for technical people that you'll know that that's a very cheap mining method of heat leach is a very cheap and early stage. And then down deeper, you go to the more expensive stuff. So we're able to, so in the, in the pro forma company, which is uh, California gold and strata bound shareholders together, uh, we will have uh, a call, a team of, of professionals who love to build things. who love to build mines. That's our background. We've done it over and over again. Uh, they, they don't have that. So they'll be again, gaining that on their side. And we have cash. We raised about $8.7 million in Stratabound uh, up into December last year on the back of our, our other projects. And, uh, and, uh, and there's, a, there's um, 
I guess, I guess, yes, we're putting it, I guess what my point is, I was, I was just working out the numbers here in the presentation. Uh, if we look at enterprise value of, of this deal, uh, which is an all cash, an all shares deal, no cash involved, uh, we're picking up about US $14.7 million is what we're getting it for an exchange equivalent in, in strata bound shares only. And there's 880,000 ounces and that equivalent value per ounce is about $16 an ounce. I compare that to some other projects that have transactions have gone on. There's the um, there's the Yamana acquisition of uh, of uh, of Monarch Gold that was a forty six dollars uh, equivalent uh, for enterprise value ounce, and El Dorado acquired Cumex Gold for one hundred and one hundred and eleven dollars per per ounce for the same kind of deal, and these are cash plus shares. So we think we got a very good dealer at sixteen seventy five an ounce. Uh, we're anxious to get going. We want to get building mines. We want to do. There's more money to be made. I think. Uh, uh, producing gold and making a product than there is trying to uh, to uh, impress shareholders with with, uh, with with drill intersections these days. Although we intend to do that as well, we tend to get on the ground, start drilling, and and expand upon those eight hundred thousand ounces. We figure there's multiples of that out there. Just have to do the drilling and follow up in the work that California Gold had already started. Larry Phillips, California Gold's interim president and CEO added, this is an attractive offer for California Gold shareholders with the pro forma company being well capitalized with a strong net cash position, shareholder base and team in place to advance the flagship Fremont Gold project for the benefit of both Stratabound and California Gold shareholders. Stratabound Minerals is well funded and focused on gold exploration at its flagship Golden Culvert project, Yukon Territory, and its new McIntyre Brook project, New Brunswick, Canada. The company has previously reported surface samples of up to 320 grams per tonne gold with visible gold from Quartz and Quartz Breccia surface float samples at the Golden Culvert Project located 25 kilometres north of Seabridge Gold's High Grade 3 ACES project. In addition to the McIntyre Brook Project in New Brunswick, the company also holds a significant land position that hosts three base metals deposits in the Bathurst Base Metals Camp of New Brunswick featuring the Captain Copper Cobalt Gold deposit that hosts an NI43101 measured and indicated resource totaling 448,000 tons averaging 1.75% copper, 0.046% cobalt and 0.30 grams per ton gold for a 2.2% copper equivalent plus an inferred resource of 162,000 tons averaging 1.47% copper, 0.04% cobalt and 0.24 grams per ton gold for a 1.87% copper equivalent. The shares are trading at 17 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website at stratabound.ca. Contact R. Kim Tyler, President and CEO at 416-915-4157 or email info at stratabound.com. For more information about California Gold, please visit the company's website at caligold.ca. Contact Larry Phillips, President and CEO at 647-977-9267, extension 333, or email lphillips at caligold.ca. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.